a critical part of every home energy retrofit or saving energy in homes really starts with hiring the right contractor. It's really important to note that a lot of contractors have performance maybe in their company name, but that doesn't mean they're a home performance contractor. You really need that whole house, house as a system attitude. You know you don't have a home performance contractor if they just propose a single measure, if they propose to just install attic insulation or just install a furnace, that probably isn't a home performance contractor. There are a lot of myths and misconceptions about saving energy in homes. And for example, um, oftentimes people believe uh, that if, they're air, if you have an air conditioning system that runs all the time, they think that there's something wrong with the system, but that's really not the case. Another myth we often hear is bigger is better. A larger air conditioner, which is often just a few hundred dollars more, is a better deal because it will cool your home faster. To provide the best energy efficiency and the best comfort conditions in your home, we want the right sized air conditioner. We want it just big enough to meet the peak loads, but no larger because that will have higher operating costs and also lower comfort levels. A lot more stratification happens, a lot more cycling, big temperature change, uh, drifts and so forth. All, th all those things can happen with an air conditioner that's too large. Now, I think another myth is that a new air conditioning system is more important than duct sealing and insulation. To do the whole house properly, we also need to do things in the right order. If your, home if your contractor says they just want to install attic insulation, which everyone would agree in a good, a, is a good thing, it may not be a good thing if they don't air seal the ceiling assembly first or if they don't repair the ducts first. So in that case, it would be a bad thing. So we always need to do things in the proper order. Yeah, air sealing is so important, particularly in attics. Uh, warm air is more buoyant than cold air, so it naturally rises. So the heated air inside your home in the winter months naturally wants to rise and escape out of the structure. So just simply providing insulation doesn't create a good air barrier in the attic, which prevents a lot of this heat loss by exfiltration. So often, contractors want to sell us the latest new technology or gadget. Um, some examples of those might be a geothermal heat pump or a tankless water heater or a very high efficiency piece of equipment like a high efficiency air conditioner. Those are good technologies and we need to consider them, but we need to consider how they work in the whole building. It may be way more cost effective to install a lower efficiency air conditioner but make sure it's installed properly and in a high efficiency thermal enclosure. Now many of these technologies can be good solutions, but think of your contractor as um, almost like, if you compare that to like an auto mechanic, if you were to take your car in for service and without any diagnostic uh, testing, he told you that you had to replace the engine, you might be suspicious of that. And so it is with home performance contracting. You want to make sure that you have a contractor that is really looking at all those seven areas. Your, your home performance contractor will have a whole truckload of test equipment that he can use on your house to actually quantify the shell leakage, the duct leakage, use a capture hood to measure airflow with your, from your heating system to each room, use an infrared camera to assess the performance of insulation. That's a home performance contractor's job. So to summarize what some of these energy myths are, um, I think one that comes to mind is certainly windows are always a bad energy investment. Uh, actually, that's not true. There are over a billion single-pane windows in the United States. And if you happen to have a lot of west-facing glass, for example, that can have a huge impact on your cooling loads. Also, windows have a big impact on comfort. But when you think about the energy from the sun, it's about 250 BTUs per square foot. So if you have a lot of west-facing glass and you have um, no solar control, basically you get a lot of heat gain. In fact, the amount of energy that strikes one sliding glass door is almost a ton of air conditioning. So it's really important that if you're thinking about uh, replacing your windows, uh, select windows that have a low solar heat gain coefficient and also a low U factor. You want those numbers to be both 0.35 or lower. Another thing we so often hear is that insulation is always good. We have to be very, very careful to never install insulation until we have an air seal at that location to make sure air doesn't move through the insulation. So air sealing is critical before the insulation. 
Another common myth is that uh, any energy improvement should pay for itself within five years. This is simply not true. In fact, the money that we spend in our energy bills, we never get that money back. It's not really a good investment. But if we can even have to borrow money, as long as the cost of borrowing that money is less than what we're spending on energy bills, that starts paying for itself immediately. And this is often the case with energy efficiency improvements. Many times the money that we save on our energy bills is greater than what we have to pay every month potentially in a loan. And the fact that many times these loans um, are tax deductible. Another myth is that new heating and cooling equipment is the best investment when we want to reduce our heating and cooling bills. We might find that actually improving the efficiency of the distribution system, the duct system, is the better investment. So we don't want to miss that opportunity. The point is, is that home performance contracting, there's, there's no one silver bullet. Uh, it's a multitude of things that we do that make a home more energy efficient. And it's that mindset of looking at the house as a system as opposed to replacing just one or two items. Yeah, there is no silver bullet. We want to take the holistic approach.